go on google and type here global sap global certificate or sap certification simply you can type have i recorded this or not? yes so you just type on google sap certification just hit enter and you will see training.sap.com. Don't go to learning.sap.com. Just go to training.sap.com. Just click on that. And here, what you need to do as you are coming for first time, what you need to do? Just click on this icon. And before that, also, let me do a press. Gmail. Just search SAP certification. Go to training.sap.com. And here you will just come here. And from here, first you can see the icon that's a flag for India. Just go there, just choose your reason first, because as per that, you have to pay your exam fees and the SAP will show you the fees as per the reason. So if you are from uh, North and South America, your country just belong to North and South America, just select that. If it just belong, belongs to Asia Pacific, just belong, uh, select that. If you just belong to Europe and Middle East and Africa, just select that. Like India just came in. Asia. So just click here and just search your country. So once you will select your country from here now, once you will select the flag, your country's flag will appear here. Right. Now, what you need to do, just click on this icon. And from here, if you already have a universal ID, then you can give your universal ID. If you don't have, most probably you will not have because you will go in this website for first time. So you just need to create an SAP universal ID. So that's nothing. Today I have that's created a... one universal ID. Ah, okay. So here you just need to give your full name, your last name, your country, right? You need to give your universal ID here. So universal ID is nothing your email ID. So just give your one email ID here, right? And here password, just set your password. And it, these are the guidelines to give your password. So I will simply say, give a simple password so that you can also remember that on later period of a time, once you are going to give your exam, so just give a simple password like let's suppose my name is uh, Rao. So I will take a password like R capital double O F at the rate your date of birth, whatever it is. So you can take like 1994, 1995, 1996, whatever it is. You can give the simple password like that so that at the time of exam you can remember that. You need not to be hustle and bustle for your uh, password. Okay, you need not to forget the password again and again. Just take like that and it is acceptable. Why I'm saying in that format? Because it's acceptable like that because all characters are there in that. So just take like your name or at the rate, your date of birth, that's it, right? So let me send that in uh, chat also. Then just submit that. Just select I acknowledge and just submit that, right? that your uh, like uh, it it will be done right now next step is okay. next step is once you do that just click here again on this icon and here just give your email id that's your universal id Whatever email ID you have given at the time of a registration, that same email ID is your universal ID. So just give that same universal ID here. Select next. Give your password here. 
hit enter now you are signed into that Right, now it's done. If you will click on here, you can see your name, everything, your email, that same email is your as, as universal user ID. That's a universal user ID, right? So we just come here. Now, next step is, uh, that first step is completed. That's a registration. So registration is complete. Now, next step is certificate, like how you're going to book an exam, right? So what you need to do, you need to select here your certification exam. So like for you, uh, exam code is C underscore TS452. That's your, uh, for SAP MM, that's a uh, latest is, that's exam code, right? Uh, CTS underscore 452 for SAP MM sourcing and program. So, just go for the latest one right now latest one is this c underscore ts4522022 that's the latest version right now so just go on that always go for the latest exam code okay but right now 2023 didn't came for s4 hana mm and don't search for s4 hana mm this is uh, in uh, uh, like for sap mm s4 hana name is like sap s4 hana sourcing and procurement so just go to this C underscore TS452 underscore 202. Just select that. Yeah. So from here, what you can see, you can see how many questions will be there. How, what, what will be the cutoff score? 64% cutoff score right now. 180 minutes will be there. Uh, like that will be available in these languages, right? You can go for English, right? Everything is here. You can see uh, the areas like slavers. You can see everything is mentioned. Procurement process 12%, inventory management and physical um, inventory 8 to 12%, valuation and account assignment 8 to 12%. Purchasing optimization 8 to 12 percent, uh, enterprise structure 8 to 12 percent, configuration of purchasing 8 to 12 percent, invoice verification 8 to 12 percent, consumption based planning less than 8 percent. These all are the less than 8 percent, right? So you can see from here, and from here you can see the price as per your country. So in India, it's for single attempt 18,590. That's excluding taxes. But if you are going uh, to include a GST in that, like India's tax I'm talking about, in your country, there will be VAT as for your country. So you can see without tax here, right? So in India, that's a price without tax. And that's for six attempt without tax. So what's the concept of a six attempt and single attempt? So uh, six attempt, you can give any exam code. For example, if you are talking about C underscore TS452, for that exam, let's suppose you just gave for first attempt. You fail. You can give second time. Again, you fail. You can give third time. But after third time, you can't give uh, exam. Uh, you can only give remaining third attempts for another exam code. You can't give that uh, for same exam. Right. Exam code means you can go for sales, SD, consultants, exam code, FICOs, uh, consult, uh, exam code. Right but you can't go for, for same exam code for more than three attempts, right? So that's the concept of six attempt and single attempt. So what do you need to do? Simple, as simple as that, like as you used to purchase a product from Amazon and Flipkart, you just need to add that to the basket. So just add, let's suppose you will go for single attempt and just go for single attempt, no need to go for six attempt, okay? I assure you, you can clear that exam single attempt, don't worry. You can go with the exam dumps and uh, like if still you are not uh, feeling confidence, you can go with the proxy. 
so uh, and you can connect uh, for both of the option uh, to me uh, for sap ml so just go for single attempt and just add to basket that once you will add that to the basket just click on proceed to basket right so from here if you have any campaign code you can apply here if you don't have it's fine just apply a campaign code here proceed to checkout right from here uh, just proceed to checkout right and here you need to give all these details so i have already provided you need to give these details like that right once it's done there are three options for the payment one is invoice pu another one is credit debit card a third one is a preferred card so just go for credit card and debit card and just simply go with the credit card right if you don't have a credit card then also you can connect home right so uh, that's a credit card and you just need to give your card number card holder number expiry and cvv you can also go with invoice po but that's a very like a lengthy process in that you need to generate uh, uh, like uh, you po and then you need to send to the sap then they will approve then you need to uh, do that with a po so it's better just go with a debit card uh, sorry credit card right and just give all these details and continue like that you can do a payment right once you will do a payment what will happen once you will do a payment you just need to go here and uh, yeah one more mistake as student usually do once uh, like they are doing registration in one time again they are going to come on sap training and they are trying to do that but what mistake they are doing they are not first doing login so every time first do login your profile must shown here they are trying to do that without doing login and they are saying sir i am not able to do that the, the, the issue is like first you need to do login from here right now you can see like my student's profile is already here so that means he is already login right so from here like once you have paid your fees just go here again and just go here access purchase subscription right just go here access purchase subscription you can see i have already a book type exam signal attempt for one of my student so it will be once you will pay your fees for one attempt it will mention like subscription license start on license end on so within 12 month you can give that exam at any date within that 12 month so what you need to do that after that what you need to do just click on access the certification hub and from here just you can you can read out all these uh, guidelines exam guidelines and you can detect your question mark secure that's a, a software like sap is installing in your system you can check your bandwidth all the points you can read out right after that what you need to do just go in exam dashboard and as you can see i have already scheduled the exam what you need to do first you need to select the exam from here right and you select and then just go for uh, this schedule an exam first you need to select c_ts452 in your case select that then it 
this will this page will open then just go and schedule an exam right so yeah after that it will come sorry so schedule an exam and just search your exam from here so in our case it's a c underscore ts452 22 so just go here i have already done that i have already scheduled that's the reason it's coming like that exam schedule so like if you click here you can see it will come like that just click on this schedule and new appointment and from here select your time zone right so if you are from india select uh, asia kolkata or from whatever country you are the select as per that and select a date on which date you just want to give that exam and then select a time on at which time once i will give the all these details then time will come just select the time okay and then click on save appointment right once you will do like that and you will go in exam appointment once you will schedule that you will go in exam appointment you can see like that okay it will be visible like that once you will schedule right so this is how you can schedule on that day on that day this window will open that same page you need to come on exam appointment you need to come on that same date at the same time the window will open before uh, 30 40 minute before your time and you can give and you can uh, give your exam but just follow the guidelines properly like uh, you must be alone in the room there must be proper lighting in the room wi-fi connectivity must be good a single voice must not come from anywhere otherwise prompter will cancel your uh, exam okay so uh, it's, it's preferable like if you have a children's in your home just do one thing do that in the night there must not be sing uh, another uh, person in your room otherwise prompter will uh, like cancel your exam like terminate right so always follow all these guidelines whatever is written there i have mentioned that follow all these even they are going to send you at email so through email also you can read out all the guidance the guidelines and just follow that blindly you will not able to see a prompter but a prompter can see you, right so don't think like and eh, no one is here so just follow the guidelines and you can do that it's not a rocket science uh, to clear the exam right through uh, dumps uh, you can clear that you can connect to us and uh, uh, through proxy also you can do that and one more thing one more thing uh, like you also have to you also have to link to email id in that right so how to do that how to uh, like uh, link to email id so mostly students are doing that mistake they are trying to link same domain like let's suppose email they are trying to link to email id in sap universal id and they will not able to do that the reason is sap is asking from different domain let's suppose you have already linked with one domain for example you have already linked from at the rate at the gmail.com just go with yahoo.com with another e uh, like uh, uh, email right so let me show you also just wait you just need to go to account.sap.com right account.sap.com hit enter that's the mostly students are doing and there's a no uh, complete videos are available on youtube or anywhere so what you need to do like one account is already linked i am also going to link uh, for my student another account so here just add account just click on add account and just add another uh, like domain it's a gmail so there must be another domain if you will try with the same domain you can try 100 times it's not going to happen so just to try with another domain for example yahoo.com just try with that and just do then only you will able to give your exam and then only the global certification badge will come right 
दिस इज द प्रोसीजर कंप्लीट प्रोसीजर 